Welcome back to SolidWorks and NC Tutor YouTube channel. Before starting the video, if you are new and haven't subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. Now what we are going to do is we are going to shift the planes and we are going to make the profiles for our lofted surface. Go to features, select reference geometry from here and flip offset. Make it like this view and make the planes for the best ad adjustment of your profiles like this so select ok from here so now you can see that we have uh, four planes so we have four profiles here first of all I am going to start with the front plane as you can see that this is the front plane we are going to I am going to make the point here like this so we will start with the point now I will select the plane 1 and go to exit sketch and now I will select plane 1 go to sketch now I am going to make a subline here like this so you can see that our sketch is not pairs or coincident with these two sketches so when we are going to use the guide curve so we always have to work with the sketches which are coincident and pairs with each other so I will select these two points and lines and select make pairs now you can see that our uh, sketch has perfectly aligned with this line uh, now again we will select these two and select make pairs from here now again you can go to normal to command and adjust your profile according to your sketch I am going to make it vertical like this this is not the uh, perfect profile for the boat but I am just making it to show you that how you can use the lofted surface for different profiles so now go to exit sketch select plane 2 from here go to exit sketch again and repeat the procedure as I have shown you for the first profile again make the subline like this and uh, rotate your model select these two sketches make pairs again do the same for these two sketches like this uh, again go to the normal to command so now our second profile is ready like this I am going to make the third one profile go to sketch again make the subline here like this select this point and select this sketch make it pairs so do the same procedure for this point and sketch like this you can make any shape using this command or technique with lofted surface uh, like you can make the remotes brushes and most of the organic shapes using this feature now go to exit sketch and now you can see that our three profiles are ready our fourth profile is this point uh, from where we are going to start and our fifth profile I am going to use is this line so now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to use the lofted surface from here I am again telling you that whenever you are going to use the lofted surface command or boundary surface most of the beginners don't know that they have to work with the sketches uh, with coincident and pairs sketches so uh, therefore I am telling you that whenever you are going to make the profiles and guide curves you have to make sure that these are coincident and pairs with each other and now I will select our first profile as this point I think our point has not been selected yet 
so i have to select the 3d sketch from here you can see that our point has been selected now i have to select the other profiles like this as you can see that our profiles are generating so now i have to select this line so go to selection manager select this and select ok so now you can see that our lofted surface has been made but without guide curve our model is not right so i will go to the guide curve command i will go to selection manager and i will select this curve as our guide curve select ok and now you can see that our lofted surface has been guided toward this sketch now again i will select this one curve or sketch and select ok so now you can see our profiles are perfectly aligned with these two guide curves and our model has been generated perfectly there is no intersection or no area left for the profiles so select ok from here so now you can see that our uh, half part is ready and whenever you are going to use the surfacing you first have to make the half part because most of the parts are symmetrical parts so you have you will make half part and after that you will mirror it so now i am going to mirror it uh, with the right plane go to features select mirror command from here and select bodies to mirror so this is our body and we are going to mirror it select ok so now you can see our board model is ready now if you want to make it thick or solid uh, this is some other topic i will tell you in detail but i will show you how you can do it with this model so i am going to use the knit surface to join these two surfaces we will cover the and um, detail we will cover the topic of knit surface in detail uh, in our upcoming videos so stay tuned with us and now we are going to fill this uh, open sketch select open loop from here go to sketch ok so now i will select the uh, knit surface again i will select these two surfaces merge entities and create solid so now you can see that our model is perfectly solid like this ok so this was the simple command to make to convert your surface model into solid body as you can see here we have a solid body now we can easily use the shell feature like this give it the value of 2 mm select ok and now you can see our model has been generated exactly so now you can see that our model is generated and this was a simple tutorial of lofted surface in the next coming tutorial we are going to learn about the boundary surface so thank you for watching keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for more interesting videos